Got venom? Venomous Snakes of Virginia. Brought to you by the Blue Ridge Poison Center at UVA Health. In this presentation, we'll meet the venomous snakes that live here in Virginia and learn about the harm that a bite from one of these snakes can cause. Next, since it's always better to prevent a bite than to treat one, we'll discuss how to prevent a snake bite. And lastly, we'll explain what to do if someone is bitten by a snake. Many people are fascinated by snakes and quite a few are terrified of snakes. That is why they are the subject of so many scary movies and other works of fiction. There's a lot of incorrect information out there. Don't believe everything you see in the movies. First, a little perspective. According to the CDC, each year an estimated 7,000 to 8,000 people are bitten by a venomous snake somewhere in the United States, but only about five of those people die from their bite. Venomous snake bites are medical emergencies, and any snake bite death is a tragedy. But you are way more likely to be harmed by something in your medicine cabinet than by a snake. There are 34 species of snakes in Virginia. 31 species are non-venomous and harmless to people. You could probably name a few of these. There's the corn snake, the black racer or the black snake, and the garter snake, for example. Three species are venomous, meaning that they can inject venom into their prey through hollow fangs. These are the copperhead, the cottonmouth, which is also called the water moccasin, and the timber rattlesnake. All three of the venomous snakes in Virginia are in the pit viper family. Pit vipers have a few things in common. All snakes have nostrils, but pit vipers have additional heat sensing pits on each side of their head. They use these organs to find and hunt their prey. They can do this even in complete darkness. Pit vipers also have a vertical pupil, like a cat's eye. Non-venomous species have round pupils, like us. This image is from the Virginia Herpetological Society. They have an excellent website with lots of snake information and pictures. Check them out. There's the website at the bottom of your screen. Pit vipers also have special glands on each side of the head that produce and store venom. These venom sacs give the pit viper its characteristic wide triangular head shape. Non-venomous snakes in Virginia have narrow oval shaped heads. Of course, it might not be easy to identify a snake's head shape or pupil shape from a safe distance. When in doubt, assume the snake is venomous. Do not get closer than six feet to a snake just to try to identify it. Try taking a photo with your smartphone and then enlarging the image. All right, let's get to know our venomous snakes. First up, meet the copperhead. It's the most common pit viper in Virginia. It's found all throughout our state, as shown by this map from the website of the Virginia Herpetological Society. They have a pinkish tan head, which reminds people of the color of a copper penny. That's how they got their name. Baby copperheads are born with yellow tails, which they use to lure prey. This fades away as the snake ages. Copperheads are not water snakes, but they can swim and occasionally will go into the water to hunt or escape a predator. Check out the beautiful pinkish tan coloring of this copperhead snake. Next up, meet the cottonmouth. Cottonmouths are slightly larger than copperheads. Adults average two and a half to about four feet long. Cottonmouths are only found in the very southeastern tip of Virginia, as you can see on the map. They are semi-aquatic. They're often found in or near the water. When threatened, a 
copperhead might display its wide open mouth, which is white inside. This is a warning to back off. Last up, meet the timber rattlesnake. These are the largest pit vipers in Virginia. Adults average two and a half to even five feet long. Timber rattlesnakes prefer the deep forest and the mountainous areas, as shown on the map. The canebrake rattlesnake used to be considered a separate species. Now, most scientists agree it's a variation of the timber rattlesnake, which is confined to the southeastern tip of our state. Like all rattlesnakes, the timber rattlesnake has a rattle on the end of its tail. It, it uses the rattle to warn a predator to back off. The rattle is made of keratin. That's the same thing that our hair and fingernails are made of. Every time a rattlesnake sheds its skin, a new ring is added to the rattle. So what does the rattle sound like? This is a video of a diamondback rattlesnake which doesn't live in Virginia, but the sound is similar. Here are some more cool facts about pit vipers. Dead snakes may still bite. The bite is a result of a muscle reflex, which causes the snake's jaws to snap closed and venom to be released through the fangs. Believe it or not, some people have suffered a bite after handling a dead snake. Sometimes pit vipers give a dry bite. This means they bite, but don't release any venom. A pit viper might do this when it wants to defend itself, but doesn't want to waste valuable venom, which it needs to hunt and survive. Pit vipers are constantly growing new fangs that are ready to spring into action if one breaks off. This is important because the animal would starve to death if it didn't have its fangs. What does venom do to the body? Venom is a toxin that destroys blood cells, blood vessels, and tissues. Snakes use their venom to kill, paralyze, and help digest their prey. What does venom do to us? There is usually a great deal of pain. There also might be one or two puncture wounds from the fangs. There may be swelling and bruising, which can become extensive. There may be sweating, weakness, dizziness, nausea and vomiting, and muscle twitching. By the way, that dog is Frida, and she belongs to one of the specialists that work here at the Poison Center. Frida was bitten by a copperhead while walking outside and she survived and is doing just fine today. If someone is bitten by venomous snake, stay calm. Remember, bites are very treatable. If possible, clean the bite wound with soap and water. Swelling is likely, so remove tight clothing and jewelry near the bite. Get the victim to a hospital so they can have access to medical care and anti-venom if necessary. If you're not sure what to do, you need help locating the nearest hospital, or you have any other questions, call the Blue Ridge Poison Center, 1-800-222-1222. Now here are a list of things you should not do if someone is bitten by a snake. Remember, don't believe everything you see in the movies. The actions below do not help a snake bite victim and in fact could cause more harm. Don't cut open the wound or use suction. Don't apply a tourniquet. Don't apply ice. And don't give the victim any drugs or alcohol. This is the only snake bite kit you need. Car keys to get to a hospital. In the event of a bite, do not try to catch or kill the snake to bring to the hospital. Doctors do not need to know what bit you in order to treat you. Even though there are many types of pit vipers in Virginia and even in North America, there's only one antivenom used to treat them all. A 
course, I'd like to encourage you not to kill snakes because they have an important job. Controlling populations of rodents, like mice. Rodents cause far more harm to people than snakes do. Rodents damage property and crops and spread disease. But if that doesn't convince you not to kill snakes, maybe this will. You'd be surprised how often a bite happens because someone was trying to kill a snake. When they decide to bite, snakes move fast. If a snake bite victim does not develop any symptoms, or if you are 100% certain that the bite came from a non-venomous species, there is no need to rush to the hospital. However, a visit to a non-emergency healthcare provider might still be a good idea. Non-venomous bites can become infected, and a tetanus shot might be in order. How fast can you find the snake in this picture? Snakes use camouflage to hide from predators and prey. It can be difficult to spot them until they start moving, like this timber rattlesnake doing its best to get away from the photographer. To prevent a snake bite, avoid accidentally getting too close. Stay alert in snake habitats. Watch where you put your hands and feet. Wear long pants and sturdy boots or shoes. Use a flashlight when you're outdoors at night. Snakes like to be in places where they can find food and hide. So if you want to discourage snakes from entering your home or yard, make those places unwelcoming. Keep the area around your home and yard free from brush, tall grass, leaf litter, etc. And don't stack wood right up against your house. Control rodent pests in your home and yard. If you get rid of the snake's food, snakes will go elsewhere. Most important, if you see a snake outdoors, just admire it from a safe distance. Snakes will only bite as a last resort. They would much rather hide from you or escape. If you discover a venomous snake inside your house, call a professional wildlife pest removal service. Do not try to handle a venomous snake yourself. If you want more information, visit our website at www.brpc.virginia.edu. And if you'd like to test your knowledge now about snake bites and snakes, take our anonymous quiz. Either click the yellow button or scan the black and white image with the camera of your smartphone. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there in our beautiful Virginia wilderness.